Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today's video is sponsored by Rucket Sports. Rucket makes top quality baseball gear and equipment. We use a lot of their stuff with our Antonelli baseball teams. If you want to receive 15% off your order, click on the link in the description box. Hey, what's up guys, how we doing? Matt Antonelli here today, talking about some hitting mechanics. We're gonna talk upper body mechanics and why it's important to learn how to tilt instead of just rotating. All right, so let's kind of get into it today. One of the issues I see with players is and this stems from a couple of different things, from trying to keep the shoulder up and you know not getting under the ball to trying to swing down and all that stuff. But what I see a lot is, is hitters want to try to rotate their upper body. So they're going to try to keep this shoulder up, and they're just going to turn everything, right? So they're always told, turn your backside, rotate. And so everything just does, does that. When that happens, my swing gets really spinny, my hands get outside my body, I end up getting around the ball, I end up usually pushing the bat, cut the cross the zone, bunch of bad things that happen. I don't get on good path and have good direction, and I don't create a whole lot of bat speed, all right? So it's usually easy to see these swings, they look like they're really muscled up, like they look like there's a lot of effort happening, but there's no bat speed coming from it. So I, I, I look like I'm really, you know, swinging hard, but I get jammed a lot because I'm outside the ball and I just don't have any bat speed. What you want to feel when you get ready to hit and you're back in position to launch the bat and I go, right, my lower body is going to start to turn. But my upper body, I don't want to turn with my lower body. My upper body, if you watch almost any elite hitter, major league hitter, when, the, when they say go and they start to launch and, and this lower half and this leg's turning, the upper body is going to work this way more. So the upper body is going to work back. It's going to tilt back. The barrel is going to work back. So now this, my lower body is turning me this way. My upper body is going that way. It creates a whole lot of stretch in my body, a whole lot of stretch. So this is going here. This is going back. It's just like the elastic band. I pull the band back, I stretch the band, and then I shoot it. The more I stretch, the more tension I put in the band, the more energy that's stored in the band, the further the band's gonna fly. Same thing with my swing, if I wanna create good bat speed. So I pull back and get in good position, and then once this starts to turn, this is gonna launch back. The bat's gonna work around my body. It's gonna enter the zone early back here on the right path, and it's gonna work really, really fast, okay? The bat's gonna pick up speed going this way, okay? It's gonna start to blur out behind me if you're watching it in slow motion. And enter the zone with really good direction, slightly up through the ball, and fast, okay? Versus, again, the other, if I'm thinking about rotating everything, I'm doing this, my path's going to be down, but it's also going to be around the ball, and I'm going to push the bat because there's really no stretch created. Again, my lower body's turning this way, and my upper body's turning this way. They're both going in the same direction. I'm off the ball, and I don't have any bat speed. There's no stretch created. My lower body's turning this way. My upper body's going back. That's where stretch is created, and then bat speed comes. Okay? So that's one of the things. If you're, if you're someone that's either a parent, a coach, or even a player looking at your swing and it looks like you're always off the ball, one of the things might be because I'm rotating so fast with my upper body, my shoulder's off the ball, everything's going off the ball here. But if I feel this move, now I'm on the ball here. And I'm driving the ball through the big part of the field. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Don't try to rotate with your upper body. Let your upper body tilt. Your lower body will turn and rotate, but your upper body's got to go back. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends. All that good stuff. Check the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff going on down there. I've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. Type in Antonelli. Well, click on the link first, then type in Antonelli. Get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Also have a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel. We'd appreciate that. 
And we've got a bunch of other stuff down there as well. And uh, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.